The next grammar point is pronoun in oblique case. In previous grammar points, we learned what is the oblique case. So when a pronoun is with the postposition, it is an oblique case. Let's take a few examples in English. In English, the pronoun I changes to me with the prepositions. I becomes me, for me. It is never for I. The pronoun we becomes us in oblique case. We becomes us with the prepositions. It's with us, never with we. The similar thing happens in Hindi as well. The pronoun ma becomes much before a postposition. Mujh se, from me. It's never ma se. Similarly, wo becomes us with the postposition. It is us se, not wo se. Here we have the table of all the subject pronouns in oblique case. We have taken here the postposition se, which means from as an example. In the first column, we have subject pronouns. In the second column, we have the oblique forms of the pronouns. And in the final column, we have pronouns in oblique case with the postposition se, from. Ma, I becomes much with the postposition se, much se, from me. Tu becomes tuch with the postposition se, tuj se, from you. Ye, he, she, it. The oblique form is is, is se, from him, from her, from it. Wo also is he, she, and it. The oblique form is us, us se, from him, her, it. Hum, we, stays the same as hum, so hum se, from us. Some pronouns do not change in oblique case. Tum also stays tum, tum se, from you. Aap, you also does not change in oblique case. Aap, aap se, from you. Ye, they, become in with the postposition, so in se, from them. Ve, they, becomes un with the postposition, so it is un se, from them. Let's take some example sentences where the pronouns are in oblique case. Sunita usse khareed rahi hai. Sunita is buying from him, from her. Usse means from him or from her. Main ye kitab tumko deta hoon. I give this book to you. Tumko is to you. Wo gaadi achhi hai, usme koi kharabi nahi. The car is good, there is no problem with it. Literally, it means in it. Usme, in it. You must have noticed that the pronouns with the postposition are written as one word. You can see in the above example, usse, from him, from her, is one word. Tumko, to you, is also one word. Usme, in it, is also one word. Pronouns with the postposition are written as one word. The question words con and kya also have oblique form. They become kiss in oblique form. They become kiss with the postposition. Both question words con and kya have the same oblique form, kiss. Con, who, its oblique form is kiss, whom, kiss se, from whom. Just like pronoun, both words are written together. Kya, what, kiss, what, kiss se, from what. Con, who, the oblique form is kiss, that means whom, kiss ke saath, with whom. Kya means what, the oblique form is kiss, what, kiss ke saath, with what. Here are some example sentences. तुम किसको फोन कर रहे हो? Who are you telephoning? आप किसके साथ भारत जा रहे हैं? With whom you are going to India? किसके साथ चाय पीते हो? दूध या नींबू? With what do you drink tea? Milk or lemon? As we know that क्या can also behave like an adjective in the meaning of what kind of which? ये क्या किताब है? What kind of book is this? किस किताब में ये कहानी है? In which book is this story? The oblique form of kya is kiss, so in the second sentence it will be kiss kitab mein in what book or in which book. As I mentioned in the earlier grammar points, the pronoun ye wo and ye ve can also take adjectival form. Ye wo are this and that and ye ve are these and those. Ye wo becomes is and us and ye ve becomes in and un. Here are the example, ye shahar, this city. वो किताब that book ये लड़के these boys वे दुकाने those shops and of course before a postposition the pronouns will decline as usual ये becomes is इस शहर में in this city वो becomes उस so उस किताब में in that book 
एंड फॉर प्लूरल ये बिकम इन सो इन लड़कों से फ्रॉम दीज बॉयज एंड वे बिकम उन सो उन दुकानों से फ्रॉम दो शॉप्स